find the partial derivative of this function with respect to r. So we're looking for del f del r. So you'll notice that there's an r here and there's an r inside the natural logarithm. So we have a function times another function. So we have to use something called the product rule. So the product rule says if you have a function f times a function g and you want to find the derivative, think of f as your first function and g as your second function. So it's the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. So here, this is our first function, so it's r. So its derivative with respect to r is 1 times the second, so the natural log of r squared plus s squared plus the first, which is just r, times the derivative of the second. Now, if it was, say, ln x, and you took the derivative, you would get 1 over x. So here it's 1 over whatever's here, so 1 over r squared plus s squared, and then times the derivative of the inside. That's, that's the chain rule. So when we're taking the partial with respect to r, all of the other variables are constants, so the derivative of s squared will be 0. So here we just get 2r. Let's just check our work. So we did the derivative of the first, which is the derivative of r, which is 1 times the second plus the first, which is r. And then we took this derivative here. So again, the derivative of ln x is 1 over x. So here it's 1 over this stuff, and then times the derivative of the inside. So for r squared, we get 2r, just using the power rule. And then the derivative of s squared is 0, because we treat s as a constant. The last thing maybe to do is just clean this up a bit. So this is the natural log of r squared plus s squared. Plus, and then you just multiply these r's, so you get 2r squared over, and then we have r squared plus uh, s squared. And that would be the partial derivative of f with respect to r. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.